guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you the easiest way you can achieve this jumbo box braids so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching All right, guys, my hair is already washed and moisturized. I'm going to be using my rat tail comb, my shine and jam, and my rubber bands to achieve this look. So what I'm going to do is I'll start by sectioning my hair from ear to ear, just a straight line, exactly the way I'm doing. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna secure the hair in the back, and then I'm going to start sectioning the front first, okay? So that's what I'm doing right there, just securing the hair in the back. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna section out the hair from the center of my head, exactly the way I'm doing. So I wanna make sure the middle part is really nice and straight and then I'm going to secure the rest of the hair away and then I'm going to section one side at a time I'm going to section out two equal parts on the side and then once I'm done I'm just gonna take my rubber band and secure both sections and then I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side sis okay so that's what I'm doing so together I have four sections on the top and then I'm going to start sectioning in the back if you have never tried any of this style sis you better try this one because sis when I tell you it is easy, you better believe me. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb again and then section one straight line from ear to ear again from the back right there. And then I'm going to section another four in the middle and then a three in the back, okay? So together, I have 11 sections. So I'm going to take my hair clip and secure the rest of the hair away. So I already have these two braids on the side right here. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did those. So I'm going to take my rubber band off, the little rubber band that I was using to secure the hair with. And then I'm going to take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna take the same rubber band and secure my natural hair. So I'm going to be securing about four or five times, just enough that it is nice and snug, but not way too tight that I'm about to break my natural hair or anything like that. So I'm going to be using the crochet needle, the basic, basic crochet needle. I'm going to be using this expression here. This is the ultra braid. It, it's the 3X ultra braid. It is in color number one. It does come three in a pack. It is 52 inches and I'm going to be using two packs, okay? Just gonna take it out of the pack exactly the way I'm doing. It does come with the rubber band, so I'm taking that off and then I'm going to section that into two, okay? So I'm just gonna section that into two and then I'm going to section one of the pieces into a smaller piece and a bigger piece. That way, when I loop them around, I have a nice traditional braid. So together I have a bigger piece and a smaller piece. So I'm going to be taking that smaller piece first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crochet needle, place it in exactly the way I'm doing. And then I'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding hair. I'm going to place it on the crochet hook, close the hook and then pull it out. And then once I pull it out, I'm going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides, okay? All right, so once I do that, I'm going to section my natural hair into two and then give it a little tug. I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam applied to my natural hair so that way it is easy to tuck in sis okay so i'm just gonna flip the braiding hair over and when i flip it you can already see that it is already nice and hiding the natural hair i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down as simple as a b c when i tell you it's the simplest easiest tutorial i've ever done believe me because this right here it takes me an hour and i am done from sectioning to braiding one hour and you are out of the door okay this is very very easy I only have about 11 braids in my hair so this is easy sis if you don't have time if you are running out of time or running out of ideas of what to do with your natural hair sis this is a very beautiful style that you can do so once I get to where I want the braid to stop I'm just gonna take a little piece of the braiding hair from the side and then use that to secure it tie and knot I'm going to be tying about three times because these are thick braids the reason that i'm tying a little knot at the end is because i do not want them to unravel sis 
All right, so I'm going to show you guys again. So I'm just gonna take the little rubber band that it comes with off. I'm going to make sure I secure that very close to me because I'm going to be using the same rubber band to secure the hair, okay? So I'm going to take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair, making sure it is really nice and clean and juicy and sleek or whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna take the same rubber band and secure my natural hair. So I'm going to be securing about four or five times to make sure it is nice and snug, but not way too tight, sis. I wanna make sure that, you know, my crochet needle can go through. I'm going to section out the hair into a bigger piece and a smaller piece. And then I'm going to take my crochet needle, place it in. I'm going to take the smaller piece of the braiding hair. I'm going to place it on the crochet hook, close the hook, and then pull it out. And then once I pull it out, I'm going to make sure it is nice and equal on both sides, okay? I'm just going to section my natural hair into two and then give it a little tug. So once I give it a little tug, I'm going to take a little bit more of the shine and jam, apply it to my natural hair. It's gonna flip the braiding hair over. And when I flip it, you can already see it is nice and hiding the natural hair. I'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair, place it on the top, and then I'm just going to start braiding down. But while we're still talking, sis, have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Today's shout out goes to Lucy's Kitchen. Thank you so much, sis, for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. Make sure you check her videos, guys. She also has a YouTube channel. Make sure you check out my sister, Lucy's Kitchen. She does a little vlogging, cooking, and you know, a whole lot of stuff over there. So make sure you support my Malawian sister. All right. Take my shine and jump, apply it to the hair, and then use my rubber band to secure it. So this is for all my sisters who are beginners, who cannot braid, who are having a hard time securing the hair, you know, using the other rubber band method that I did, okay? This one right here is going to work as well, because this one works for anybody who cannot grip the hair. If you're having a hard time gripping your natural hair, making sure it is looking really nice and sleek or whatever, do this technique right here, sis. It is going to work out. You already know when my voice is this hyper it means what it means the style is easy peasy lemon squeezy and anybody can actually do this okay i'm going to take the bigger piece of the braiding hair place it on the top and then i'm just going to start braiding down <laughs> Make sure you try this. I want you guys to try it. I want you guys to come back and let me know if you have tried it on your sister, on your mama, on your cousin, on yourself. Make sure you let me know how this went, okay? This right here is going to save you time, money, and everything in 2023. I'm telling you, back to school braids are about to be lit. Once I braid down to where the other braid is, I'm going to take a little piece of the braiding hair and tie that into a knot about three times. That way it is nice and secure. That way you know your girl is all Gucci, okay. All right, so once I'm done braiding, I'm just gonna take my Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay this baby hers using the brush that I got from where? You already know, okay. <laughs> At this point, you already know what it is, right? It's gonna be laying these baby hairs. And then once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my styling strips and make sure everything is nice and laid and situated, all right? Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my mousse just to make sure all these braids are nice and secure. Nothing is flying, nothing is looking a hot mess. <laughs> I'm using this large gold accessories and I'm just gonna place them at the end of the braid where I have the little knot and I'm going to place that on each braid. <laughs> so let's spice this hairstyle up some more. So I'm going to be using this free trace braid. This is the curly hair, okay? I only have one of the pieces that's remaining from this pack. So I'm just gonna take it out and I'm just gonna use one, two strands from that pack. So I don't really have to use too much hair. So I'm going to take one of the strands and separate that into a couple pieces. Once I do that, I'm just gonna take my crochet needle, place it into the braid and then take my curly hair, place it on the hook, 
pull it out and then once i pull it out i'm going to be tying that into a knot about two times that way it is nice and secure that way it looks like you know when i was braiding i was going through it and you know just securing this as i braid it through but you know my sisters who cannot feed in or do you know that kind of technique this is for you so this is the easiest way you can get the boohoo braid kind of situation going on so just take a crochet needle place it in take the curly hair place it on the hook pull it out and tie that into a knot you can actually do this for back to school for your kids you can actually do this um, method with big braids small braids medium braids if you have never braided before if you have never done any of my styles sis, you better try this one right here <laughs> And I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut the remaining of the hair, the excess hair that's remaining from the braid. And then, you know, a little bit of the curly hair as well. That way it is nice and uniform. That way it looks really, really good. So that's all I'm doing. So I'm going to do the same exact thing on the back as well. And baby, when I tell you, these Boohoo box braids came all the way through. Yes, sis, I am living for the length, for the size. I am living for these braids right about now. Let me know if you guys are feeling them. Let me know if you guys think this took Miss Tupo One, pregnant Miss Tupo One, all the way to boom, 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 100. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Let me know if you guys think this is a hot summer style or whatever. Cause baby, at this point, I am feeling myself, okay? And you already know, I gotta give you a few ways you can rock this style. So I'm just gonna flip the hair all the way to the side and baby, when I tell you I'm feeling like a whole lot of money I'm telling you right about now I feel good I look good I look good I look like that <laughs> yes girl you already know when my voice is this hyper it means what it means the style is easy peasy lemon squeezy and anybody can actually do this and you already know I gotta give you another style let me just pull these two braids to the side and push everything else on top right there in a bun and baby when I tell you I love this braid. I'm just gonna put the braids, all the braids in a bun and bam, bam. They came all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying this. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for all the love. I cannot believe we are here today. Let's get to 1 million subscribers. Cause baby, at this point it is up from here. But make sure you're sharing these videos with your cousin, your bestie, your mama, and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye